is good yo it's your boy top back here with another video in this video today we're going to be going over all of the new clutch players that we did get today in nba 2k 21 my team with the clutch reward being diamond jerry west so i'm gonna give my breakdown of all of these cards and hopefully provide you guys some good feedback but before we go any further if you are new to the channel and have not yet please smash that subscribe button as you're on the road to 35,000 subscribers Starting here with Emerald John Paxson, six foot two, six five wingspan, five golds, twelve silvers with two on fronts, eighty eight three ball. I love that. Can't dunk, but it does have an eighty three ball handle, seventy nine speed with an eighty three lateral quickness. Stat wise, that's pretty good for an Emerald point guard at this stage of the game. Badge wise, obviously the, the defensive badges aren't where we would like them, but he's still not bad at all. I'm not a huge huge fan of John Paxson, but if you're looking for a cheap point guard, he is not a batter. Uh, he's not a bad starter point guard to get through some of the offline modes and stuff like that. Emerald John Paxson is serviceable in this game. Hopping into Mario Ellie, six foot five, six eight wingspan at the shooting guard position, eighty eight three ball again, sixty five driving dunk, seventy four ball handle, sixty two speed with the seventy four lateral quickness. So we went from John Paxson being kind of serviceable to this Mario card. Who listen? He's not service. Well, I'm sorry. Mario Ellie is not going to play on anybody's team in this game. He is absolutely not worth anything at all. Then we get into Emerald Shane Battier, who personally I have some kind of high expectations for here. Four gold badges, three of them being on silver. 81 three ball. He does have a 75 driving dunk, 68 ball handle, 70 speed with an 83 lateral quickness. It's just when are when are we gonna get some cards with some defensive badges again no defensive badge and i get badges can be applied but that system's kind of broken right now he only has 70 speed i just don't know about the shane battier card we'll see i guess but i'm i'm still a bigger fan of john paxton compared to mario or shane battier the next card here another card who i think could be pretty good small forward trevor ariza you're not going to want to probably play him in power four but a six eight small forward trevor ariza card one gold badge, seven on silver, and eight bronze badges. 84 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 74 ball handle. Does have a 77 speed with an 85 vertical, 84 lateral quickness. Does have that bronze clamps. I'm guessing obviously can get to gold, maybe even amethyst. I don't know really know. Probably gold. I don't really know exactly how badges work yet. Pick dodger, same thing. He has some good base badges as you guys can see. There is no steady shooter on this card as well. I think Trevor Reese is going to be super, super, super good for the time we are in as a, as a Sapphire. I think he's going to be a serviceable small forward in this game. Hopping on to the next card here, we do get a small forward, six foot seven Kawhi Leonard, seventy three ball, decent driving dunk. I just the, here's the problem I have with him. He has a seventy seven speed and an eighty five. When you compare him to Trevor Ariza, I'm taking Trevor Ariza every single time because Trevor actually can shoot the ball. Kawhi's got a seventy three ball. That's not very good at this point of the game. Obviously, his defensive badges are super super good ahead of his time by a little bit. But when you look at it, he he does have a good on ball steal tendency as well. The only thing that holds me back is his low three ball. If he had a better three ball, I would be a bigger component of this Kawhi Leonard card. Even with that all, I still think Kawhi Leonard will be decent because of how good he is on the defensive end of the court. Hopping into the next card here, we do get 86 overall Sapphire Robert Ori, six foot ten, seven one wingspan, four golds, one silver, and three bronze badges. Has an 88 three ball, good standing, good enough standing and driving dunk. On the defensive end, he, he's going to leave a little bit to be desired. 60 speed, 68 lateral quickness. Just don't know how much I like those those stats right there. But as you guys can see, again, no steady shooter. Obviously, he doesn't have range center or anything like that. Kind of low in the badge department, but... I can't really I can't really complain about Robert Ory. You know what he's going to give you. He's going to give you a knockdown shooter, and that's going to be about it. He's not going to be very good on the defensive end, but it is what it is for a Robert Ory card. Next card here we're going to hop into is Tony Kukoc. Six foot ten, just like Robert Ory. Seven two wing fan. Nine gold badges with eight on silver. 84 three ball. Good state. Good enough standing and driving dunk. 72 ball handle. 66 speed with a 70 lateral quickness. When you see the badge, shooting badges there. He does have the gold steady shooter. You guys know how I feel about that. That's an absolute killer. I still think he's going to be better than a Robert Ori because he just looks a little more complete. But that steady shooter is going to hurt this card quite a bit. So I would say he's pretty comparable to Robert Ori and probably what they're worth. It's just kind of a personal preference between the two. I'm taking Tony Kukoc over Robert Ori. Hopping into Ray Allen, six foot five shooting guard. Does a 93 three ball. I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Good enough driving dunk. 
78 ball handle, 74 speed with a 75 lateral quidditch. You guys see what I see. He does have the gold range extender. I see steady shooter as well, but the range extender is big for this time of the game. If you have a 93 three ball with range, you're looking good the way shooting is. He does have bronze pick dodger but that's the only defensive badge he has you guys know ray allen's not going to be good on the defensive end at this stage as a ruby but he still will be an absolutely lights out shooter hopping into the next player here we do get rip hamilton and or ruby here 89 over 89 overall ruby 23 gold badges has an 84 three ball good enough driving dunk 78 ball handle 79 speed with a 77 lateral quidditch look at the shooting badges on this ray allen card but or on this Richard Hamilton card, but I do not see range extender, and that hurts. And that definitely hurts. Now, like I said, I don't know how to, I think applying badges in this game are still broken. We'll get a better grasp on that eventually, but if you can't get range extender on this Rip Hamilton card, it's going to hurt, as well as the lack of defensive badges on this card. I was super, super excited about what Rip Hamilton could be, but after going over the card, seeing that basically all of them are the shooting badges which isn't necessarily a bad thing i just wish he had more on the defensive end of the court he also only has a 60 on ball steel tendency i'm not that excited about rip hamilton hopping on to the next player here we do get amethyst kobe bean bryant six foot six you guys see one half bat or one amethyst badge i think they call him 13 or 16 gold badges, 18 silver with 8 on bronze. 83 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 speed, 85 lateral quickness. Hold up one second here. One second I need to hold. Do you guys realize how good this Kobe Bryant card is? Like, for a second, realize he has Hall of Fame volume shooter, gold range, gold green machine. He does have steady shooter that hurts him, but he has also has a, quite a bit of finishing badges, like quite a few playmaking badges, as well as quite a few defensive badges. This Kobe Bryant is very complete. I'm a huge fan of this Kobe card already. He is going to be very, very, very good in NBA 2K21, my team. Hopping into the next card here, we do get Amethyst Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, he does have one Amethyst Hall of Fame badge. 15 gold badges, one on silver with two on bronze. Obviously, he's not going to be able to shoot, and he's not very fast. His lateral quickness is low. Without going any further, you know what Kareem's going to give you. He's going to be a great inside center at 7 feet 2, but he's just... 56 speed's not terrible. I shouldn't say his speed's terrible. Lateral quickness being at 37 definitely hurts. I don't know how this Kareem's going to be. He does have a decent enough midi, which helps. I think Kareem's going to be decent enough in, in this game. Hopping into Michael Jordan here, 91 overall Amethyst, one Amethyst Hall of Fame badge, 12 of them on gold, one on silver with two on bronze. 69 three ball hurts him already. He has incredible defensive stats though. 93 speed, 89 lateral quickness. You know, not incredible badges at this point of the game, but if you apply some, I think he is going to be good. Let's see, all ball steel tendency hasn't changed. That's a 98, which is going to be ridiculous. He is going to be a top defender in the game if you apply some badges on him. If you give him, you know, upgrade that clamps to at least gold, he is going to be one of the top defenders in NBA 2K21, my team. Then we hop into the only other diamond besides the set reward in Jason Kidd. Six foot four, six eight wingspan, three Amethyst, Amethyst Hall of Fame badges, 30 on gold with one on bronze. He does have a 77 three ball, not great, can't dunk. 93 ball handle, 93 speed, 93 lateral quickness, great defensive badges. Not really great shooting badges, but listen, if you guys thought Derrick Rose was good, Jason Kidd's going to give you that similar feel as, as far as how fast he's on the court. The only difference is Jason Kidd can't dunk, and that's a pretty big difference. So when you're comparing him to Amethyst Derrick Rose, on the offensive end, they're going to be pretty similar because, you know, they both are super, super fast. Jason Kidd just can't dunk. But on the defensive end, Jason Kidd has a huge advantage over the Derrick Rose card. I'm taking Jason Kidd over Derrick Rose every single day. Jason Kidd might be one of the best point guards in the game because of how elite he is on the defensive end. Hopping into the set reward here, Diamond Jerry West, four amethyst badges, 30 gold badges, one of them on bronze, six foot two, six nine wingspan, 93 three ball, can't dunk, 90 ball handle, 90 speed, 88 lateral quickness. You guys see, I don't see any range extender on him. You might be able to apply that, but just look at how complete this card is from finishing badges to shooting badges, playmaking, then all the way to defensive badges. He's got it all. I don't know how many Hall of Fame floor general cards we have so far in this game. He might be, you know, one of the first ones. And that's a pretty important badge. Do I think Jerry West is worth locking in? I absolutely do, absolutely do not think he's worth locking in. But still, with all that being said, he is very good in NBA 2K21, my team. 
Oh. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap it up for the video today. I hope you guys did enjoy my breakdown of all the new clutch sets. Honestly, Jerry West is not worth it as a set reward. And the player I'm most excited about is Kobe Bryant. The player I'm least excited about through it all is probably... It's probably Rip Hamilton for how good I thought he would be. The, my, my highest Kobe Bryant, low is Rip, Rip Hamilton. But that's going to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.